In this short video, I'll show you a fully automatic way of UV unwrapping that actually works, with just one click. And, as a full-time 3D artist, I use it myself. Sometimes, you don't have time to manually mark every seam and unwrap your model. The only option seems to be smart UV projection, but it creates a lot of small islands, which is far from optimal. This is my second and updated video on this topic, because I felt I could make better quality content. So, here it is. In the latest update of my Jiredi add-on, I added a Minister of Flat Bridge, which is the most advanced external unwrapping algorithm so far. But I didn't just bridge them. I also added some optimizations and mesh pre-processing on the Blender side of the add-on. As a result, the add-on can 1. Recognize of the shading of the object while marking UV seams, so it includes hard edges. 2. Consider and preserve manually marked UV seams during automatic unwrapping. This can be very useful, because you can guide the algorithm in complex situations if you want. 3. Interactively select stretched islands and re-unwrap them inside Blender. Sometimes you'll need that too. Ok, let's get started. I'll test this on a few models and show you how it works. Then you can decide if you want to use it or not. Here's our first model. It's made of multiple parts. As you can see, I can unwrap the mesh with just one click. It's much smarter than smart UV projection. Look at how the cylindrical parts are unwrapped. This is very close to human level unwrapping. Generally, the result is good. Not perfect, but definitely good. And it's much faster than manually marking every seam. To fix minor stretching, use average island scale. But sometimes that's not enough. That's why I added the Select Stretch feature. You can interactively select stretched islands by moving your mouse and re-unwrap them. There's also a feature to create seams from UV borders, so you can edit them manually if needed. After that, we can pack everything with one click. Let's try it on a complex model. I downloaded this one from Sketchfab and removed its UV maps. See how it opens up the shapes. It's not as professional as human job, but it's still a very good starting point. From here, you can manually unwrap major parts if you wish, while keeping the rest as it is. But the default state is also enough for most cases. I used the Select Stretch feature to re-unwrap the stretched islands in Blender. Ok, let's bake ambient occlusion and see how it looks. I'll use GRD's Bake feature. Here we go. It looks decent. At least I don't see any major UV related issues. But there can be possible issues, including organic models. You can use it on organic models. I tested it on the default monkey head and a human bust model. In my opinion, it's not optimal for these kinds of models, though I get very nice results with hard surface ones. As I mentioned, you can mark UV seams manually, and the add-on will still include them during unwrapping. Symmetry. The add-on doesn't unwrap meshes symmetrically. You may need to mirror your mesh after unwrapping and pack the islands again. That way, your UV islands will be symmetrical. Broken UVs. If you get disrupted or broken UV islands, try triangulating your mesh. That usually fixes it. If you want to try this, I'll leave the link in the description. Although the add-on is paid, I'll give it for free to my YouTube audience. In the meantime, feel free to support me by liking and subscribing. That way, I'll keep creating useful 3D content. Thanks in advance. Usage is simple. Just install the Jiredi add-on like any other add-on. In the Auto UV panel, click the Download button. It will download a zip file of Minister of Flat software into the add-ons folder. And that's it, you are ready to go. You can unwrap single or multiple meshes. In the next videos, I'm planning to cover complete asset creation process using Jiredi and Yukupaint add-on. Yukupaint is a texturing add-on for Blender, a potential free alternative to Adobe Substance Painter. I believe this add-on has great potential, but there aren't many high quality tutorials available for it yet. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching, stay in touch.